You extend the landing gear, but it stops in mid-travel, or it won't go down at all. This time in the ABS hangar, manual landing gear extension. Tom Turner, Executive Director of the ABS Air Safety Foundation. Your first priority is to maintain control of the airplane throughout the procedure. Use an autopilot if one is available and you have the electricity to power it. However, you also need to be prepared to extend the gear manually while hand flying the aircraft. Do not attempt to extend the gear manually from memory. This is not an emergency, it is an abnormal condition and you have time to use the checklist to make certain you do it correctly. Read a step and perform the action before moving to the next checklist step. There is a technique that reduces some of the work of manually extending the landing gear and helps you confirm that it is fully down once your checklist is complete. You're not in a hurry. Follow the checklist. Once you're at a safe altitude, slow the airplane down. The faster you're flying, the greater the air load you have to overcome through the hand crank, especially pushing the nose wheel out against the slipstream. 100 to 110 knots is a good target speed for most models. Earlier Bonanzas with lower gear speeds will need to start slower, and twin pilots may elect to start a little faster for a margin above blue line speed, especially in 58Ps and 58TCs. The key is to choose a speed below VLE VLO, slow enough to reduce air load, but fast enough that you're still well above stall speed. Pull the gear motor circuit breaker. This removes electrical power from the landing gear motor. One possibility you're manually extending the landing gear is a bad brush in the gear motor. The gear hand crank is connected to the motor with a common shaft, and when you turn the crank, you're turning the motor as well. If electricity is applied to the motor, and you crank the motor away from a bad brush and onto a good one, the motor will take off and spin the hand crank as well. Next, put the landing gear switch down. If you have electrical power, this arms the lights to provide gear indications. Then, uncover the hand crank. You're ready to begin. Here's the technique that reduces some of the work of manually extending the landing gear. Per the checklist, engage the hand crank and begin turning it counterclockwise. As the handle comes across the top of its arc, it will be coming toward you in the pilot seat. Give the hand crank about 15 turns. You'll hear the slipstream noise of the gear as it begins to extend. If electrical power is available, you'll see the in-transit light as applicable or the red gear up light extinguish. The nose gear mechanical pointer begins to move in airplanes so equipped. Sit up, take a break, and look for traffic. Your primary job is still to fly the airplane. You have plenty of time for the landing gear. Then add about one inch of manifold pressure. As the gear extends, it will slow the airplane down. Since the airplane will attempt to seek its trimmed airspeed, it will begin to descend. If you're using the autopilot, it will pitch up to hold altitude and it will slow down farther. Adding about an inch of manifold pressure after about 15 turns of the crank helps you hold both altitude and airspeed, whether hand flying or using the autopilot. After a short break, crank counterclockwise another 15 turns. You've now completed 30 of the approximately 50 turns it will take to extend the landing gear. Look for traffic confirm obstacle and cloud clearance, and add another inch of manifold pressure to overcome the additional drag. After about 30 turns, it will become more difficult to crank the landing gear. Try about 10 turns, clear the area for traffic, and orient yourself to your location, and then add another inch of manifold pressure, or whatever it takes to hold altitude and airspeed. You've now completed about 40 turns. 
The Beach Pilot's Operating Handbook says it will take approximately 50 turns to extend the landing gear. The only way to tell for certain is to crank until it will crank no more. Crank until the hand crank stops, and once again check traffic and add another inch or so of manifold pressure to maintain speed and altitude. Because it's hard to turn the crank near the end of the extension process, you may want to take a break, then try one last time to move the handle as far as it will go. If electrical power is available, the green landing gear light or lights will illuminate, the in-transit light will extinguish as appropriate, and if the airplane has a nose gear pointer, it will mechanically indicate the gear is down. Be warned, however, that in some cases you may see these indications before the gear is fully down when manually extending the landing gear. To avoid a gear collapse on landing after doing all of this work, turn the hand crank as far as possible. Lastly, restow the hand crank. Beach recommends always keeping the hand crank stowed when not in use, even after a manual extension. ABS's suggested technique for manual landing gear extension makes this challenging procedure as easy as possible while using your knowledge of the airplane systems, power settings, and handling to reduce workload. The technique works the same whether you are using an autopilot or hand flying the airplane by gradually adding power to maintain altitude and airspeed. There is a warning, actually in two parts, on the manual landing gear extension checklist. First, do not operate the landing gear electrically with the hand crank engaged, as damage to the mechanism may occur. Second, if you extend the gear manually because of an actual failure, and not just practice, do not move any switches or controls or reset the circuit breaker until the airplane is on jacks in the care of a mechanic. This video is part of the American Bonanza Society's Beechcraft Essential Systems and Techniques course, free to members in the ABS Online Learning Center. Log in or become a member at bonanza.org. Don't miss another edition of the ABS Hangar. Subscribe to the American Bonanza Society YouTube channel. We'll see you next time in the ABS Hangar.